Hemostasis is the process by which the body is going to stop bleeding from a damaged vessel, so a blood vessel, and this prevents blood loss. So part of this is going to be formation of the platelet plug, coagulation that we've mentioned before. Um, and the formal term is going to be hemostasis, meaning like homeostasis related to blood. So maintaining blood volume by preventing bleeding. So I have here a little blood vessel. Um, it's got some stuff in it you should recognize, platelets, red blood cells, and white blood cells. And first we're going to assume that we have some damage to this blood vessel. So this is um, going to be shown like this. Here's some damage that occurred. And this is going to initiate our pathway for repair, right? There's going to be some stuff we want to happen very quickly and some stuff that's going to take longer. We want to stop the bleeding very quick. So avoid hemorrhage, which is excessive bleeding. The first step is going to be vascular spasm. What does this sound like it is? Vascular, referring to blood vessels, spasm. They're going to literally spasm. Um, the smooth muscle contracts. There's these layers of muscle inside a blood vessel. We'll look at that a little bit more in a couple weeks. Um, it's going to constrict. So it's literally going to spasm. And that's going to um, thought to start triggering other processes. Um, the next, this so is actually the, the benefit of it is not really well understood. It actually can be a problem for someone who's trying to tie off and like clamp a severed vessel. Okay, the next step is formation of the platelet plug. Platelet plug, right? We've talked about platelets and I keep saying they're involved in um, stopping blood flow. <laughs> um, so this is going, they're gonna clump together. They're gonna coagulate and form this plug that stops the bleeding. Um, the process of this involves lots of some several chemicals, um, but this is then a positive feedback thing, right? Um, so this is going to result in more platelets coming and being recruited as they build up. So platelets recruit more platelets, platelets to form a plug. Um, in this temporary seat temporarily seals a blood vessel. So then we've got a third step, coagulation. So it's kind of what you think of as blood clotting, um, the formation of a blood clot form. And this is going to be the result of fibrin which is that protein you've heard of before um, that is going to be activated and trap those platelets and blood cells in kind of its mesh. So we've got fibrin activation. What does that mean? Fibrin is a protein. Right, it was one of our um, proteins we talked about early on in these videos. So I'm gonna draw out the process for you. I think I can fit it on this slide. So this I'm gonna draw out over here just because that's where I have room. We are gonna have a complex pathway that is going to initiate this. There's an intrinsic and an extrinsic pathway together. They make up, they're going to um, converge on a common pathway. The common pathway is the pieces that are common between the two pathways. Um, whether the initiator is a damage, intrinsic meaning damage to the blood vessel wall, extrinsic, which means um, trauma kind of outside. So I'm not going to go more into those, but the, the initiator does have different pathways depending on exactly what that stimulus is. Either way, the common pathway at the end is going to be to activate pro thrombin, a pro-peptide, remember pro-hormones, same idea. Pro-thrombin has to be activated before it can be active. It's active when it's thrombin. 
And um, there is an enzyme prothrombinase that does that. Prothrombinase, ACE is often an enzyme. Thrombin is then going to activate fib, let's see, pro, no, nope, not pro. This one is fibrinogen. Sometimes this ogen refers to a precursor molecule, either pro something or something ogen. <laughs> Don't ask me why. Someone probably knows. Um, so thrombin is going to activate fibrin, convert fibrinogen into fibrin. You can look this up. It probably can show you what exactly is done in this pathway, like what is cut or whatever. I actually don't, don't know. All right, so that is that coagulation step. Um, and why do I have that as, yeah. So in your book, it calls that step four, um, the first step being injury. So for, for this one, it's, it's the step three. I believe that's what I wanna say about that. The one thing I'll mention is, do you remember heparin, that anticoagulant? That is part of the reason that coagulation is localized. Anticoagulants that are in the white blood cells nearby prevent coagulation from occurring um, in the neighboring vessels where you don't want it to occur. So, cause you don't want blood clots where you don't have damage. That's not gonna be good for blood flow. 